Ashley here, and today I'm going to show you how to inoculate agar with a spore syringe. First, I recommend being in front of a laminar flow hood or in a sterile environment. Then, sterilize everything before you start. Now, we are ready to inoculate our agar. First, shake up your spore syringe until the spores start to break apart. Then, flame the needle for 30 seconds until the needle starts to become black from the soot. Then, after 30 seconds, wipe the needle with an alcohol pad to remove all the soot. You should hear a tss when you apply the pad to the needle. After that, squirt a few drops of water out of the syringe. Then, open the agar tray, shake the syringe one last time, and then squirt a few drops of spores onto the agar. You don't need that much spores, just a few drops will do. But I do like to be able to see a few specks of spores on the agar. In this video, it's extremely hard to see the spores, but you can see the liquid dripping down. Um, and there are a few specks of spores that you can't really see in the video, but they are on the agar. And that's it, you've inoculated your agar. Then restart your process. Shake up your spore syringe. Flame the needle for 30 seconds. Then wipe off the needle with an alcohol pad to remove the soot. Squirt a few drops of water from the tip. Shake the syringe one last time. And inoculate your agar by squirting a few drops of liquid spores onto the agar. Like I said, you don't need that much, just a few drops will do, and they will spread to the whole entire agar tray. You can kind of see the spores a little bit in the shadows, right there, right there, there they are. They're very hard to see, but they are there. Then once you're finished inoculating your agar, go ahead and wrap the Petri dishes with parafilm, and then set your Petri dishes in a dark, warm place, about 77 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and watch your mycelium grow. You should start to see mycelium growth in about five to seven days, and if you have contamination, you'll probably see that before then. Usually I see mold within a day. Um, it happens so quickly, um, but mycelium growth is a little bit slower, so if you don't have con contamination, you should see mycelium in about five to seven days. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, please put them in the comments, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, or my Patreon page. Thanks again. Bye.